Yo, what's up you lot? King Quaker here and uh, today on this video I'm going to be showing you lot how to install an M.2 SSD hard drive onto your PS5 for additional storage. In other words, upgrading your PS5. Alright, so there are like just a couple of things that you need to upgrade your PS5 SSD storage. It's, um, they are as follows. Your PS5, that's the main ingredient. Hopefully my video cuts are uh, you know, But that's not what this video is about. It's about helping you not um, making your life as a PS5 owner a lot better, yeah? Um, your M.2 SSD, make sure it's Gen 4 and most importantly, make sure it has a heat sink. If you don't have a heat sink, then boy, um, over time, it's going to overheat to the point where it will hurt your PS5 um, and not to mention your hard drive. And uh, yeah, and a screwdriver, of course. As for this, uh, well, I'm just uh, putting that on there just for presentation. Alright, let's go. Alright, so this next part is a little bit nerve wracking. Uh, so this is where you'll need to remove the disk drive panel for the PlayStation 5, the white panel, so to speak. I sound like a mob. Alright, so basically all you've got to do is just rip the PS5 from one hand and lift the top panel and slide at the other like so. Huh. Not so tough. <laughs> Same that hard. Um, but yeah, it takes a bit of practice to do that. I just managed to do that like three times and it still got me a little bit nervous because if I do it a little bit too tough then Basically, I might uh, snap one of the hinges for the PS5 panel. You don't want to do that. So, this part is for the SSD. You just need to remove the screw that is holding the lid. And you need the Phillips screwdriver. Make sure it's a size 1 or equivalent to the one I'm holding. Uh, yeah, that. And you just need to screw it like so. There we go. And that's it. There we go. Pat it down, screw it down. And then that's it. Can't be simpler than that, innit? I managed to buy the one terabyte crucial P5 plus okay so let me see if I can take this little animal at its cage and that's it along with the heatsink yeah this is the P5 plus and not to 228 model uh, it's been reviewed as one of the best M.2 hard drives on PlayStation 5 and like I said because of the Amazon Prime they offer I just had no choice but to grab it man because I am so sick and tired of having to delete like a hundred plus gigabyte games and having to wait until it actually um, downloads for like a few hours again so uh, if there was a time for you to update your PlayStation 5 storage by installing the M.2 SSD hard drive now will be a time because since PlayStation has announced that they're gonna do like a slimmer model with a one terabyte uh, SSD drive in there I think it'll be a good opportunity for players to get more bang for their buck when it comes to updating their storage so, you know what, I might need to screw 
this top bit because it's got like a little screw that you'll need to screw down the hard drive no matter what like depending on which size yeah uh, this is the bit that I was talking about I think you just need to remove it and then just apply it on to whatever size your SSD is um, I mean this this bit, top bit right there. Alright, there we go. And it's got that little lid right there so you can fit it onto the SSD hard drive. Alright. Alright, so what we need to do as well is to find the size or length where we need to put this little screwdriver ring and then actually use the screw to actually fit onto the SSD. So beforehand I just found out that it's an 80. <laughs> so let me slide it in. Screw it on. And yeah, that's it. Okay, we just turned on our PS5 and there you have it fam. We officially installed our M.2 SSD for additional storage. Well, let's format our new hard drive and see if we can put it into good use, yeah? Oh, I'm so hyped right now. Okay, so let's see. Read speed up. I'm up to this as follows. Read speed is 539 megabytes. It sh shouldn't be a problem. Uh, even so, we can just simply switch our games over to either the internal storage or the SSD. But even so, it should be a really good read speed, so we should be good to go still. Will be seeing that anytime soon. Okay. All right. So basically, if you got your games or any installation in your internal hard drive. You can just simply switch over to the SSD which we just installed. Select items to move. And then what we'll do is just click on OK. It's almost like PS5 is easy, which it technically is. I, I'm not, I'm not, I say no more, say no more. Say no more. Shouldn't take too long, and boom. Now we have. transferred our games from console to SSD. Good times, good times. Alright, so for those who are on a PlayStation 5, hope this video helps you out and I will chat to you soon yet. Yeah?
This is King Quaker signing off. Stay blessed.